Stanford University. There are very few classes that actually teach you how to be a scientist. In other words, not what you've learned from science, but how you use science to learn. The course is called Science as a Creative Process. It's designed primarily for freshmen. In fact, for freshmen in their very first quarter. We teach them how to analyze data. After all, science is often about collecting numbers. We teach them how to design a proper experiment. You need controls. You need to understand your calibrations. You need to understand what it is that you're measuring. And then you need to know how to draw proper conclusions from the results that you have. Well, let's just try to The students make what's called a piezo pupper. Uh, this is a device that launches a film canister. And if you rig it right, by generating a spark inside of the canister with a little fuel, it pops off and goes really quite a distance. It's more about optimizing which fuel you use, how much you put in, uh, what you put on the canister, like a nose cone, uh, maybe a barrel, or like wing wing flaps. The purpose of this, of course, is not to make a popper go farther, but to rather um, get, develop some hands-on experience about learning how to confront a problem, how to recover from error, how to do proper control so you understand uh, when a new change that you make is meaningful and when it's not. The second aspect of the course is to build a measuring device using an Arduino microcontroller. You had to kind of wire your Arduino in a specific way. You had to look through the boxes of sensors that we were given and decide which sensors were appropriate for your project. Uh, you had to code the project. You had to come up with a hypothesis, a conclusion, sort of a, an experimental approach. So it can be as complicated or as simple as you want. I'm basically going to detect noise level in my dorm in different locations throughout the day and use a bit of code and a sound sensor. So you can basically get a, some sort of distribution of noise throughout the day. I feel like I learned a lot about how I myself kind of approach experimentation and I also learned a lot about how to actually like use and like function in Arduino. Most scientists are at the forefront of their field. They're trying to learn things that have never been learned before. And sometimes it's very hard to know exactly what direction to go in. And so our students have a hands-on opportunity to learn by failure and also learn from their successes. And eventually, we hope at the end of the class, really learn how to think like a scientist. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.